Talking about Jesus not being king, have you guys seen this story? This is pretty wild. And to me, this represents why male sexual assaults and sexual abuse are not taken seriously and why there is a clear double standards because some of the memes I've been seeing online, especially from like 50 Cent and shit and other people online, is proof that, you know, when somebody does something untoward towards a dude that involves something to do with sex, it's definitely seen a completely different light than when it happened to a woman. And what am I talking about? Megan Thee Stallion has been accused of harassment by a cameraman who said he was forced to watch her have sex. What does that kind of sound like? It sounds like Diddy, doesn't it? The whole Diddy thing, part of the Cassie lawsuit, was that Diddy allegedly would force Cassie to have sex with porn stars and shit in front of him. And he would watch, or he'd walk in while stuff was happening and stuff. Which is similar to what this is, accusation is. But for some reason, online, everyone's like, oh, that guy should have been happy. He should have been watching. He should have started recording. He should have got involved. People are not taking it seriously at all, which is crazy because this is kind of sick if it's true. Let's continue. A former cameraman of Megan Thee Stallion who alleges that he was trapped inside a moving vehicle with the hip-hop star in a foreign country while she had sex with a woman has filed a lawsuit accusing the entertainer of harassment and a hostile work environment. Yeah, that's kind of hostile, right? If somebody forces you to... If, if your manager forces you to watch them fuck, that's kind of a hostile work environment. I would say that. Emilio Garcia said in a suit filed on Tuesday in Los Angeles County Supreme Court that after the alleged incident, he was, well, he was warned don't ever discuss what you saw and berated, fat shamed and treated differently by Megan. <sighs> the harassment was so severe or pervasive that it created a hostile, abusive work environment that made Garcia's work conditions intolerable, the suit says. This is an employment claim for money with no sexual harassment claim filed and the salacious accusations to attempt to embarrass her. We will deal with this in court, an attorney for Megan Thee Stallion, Alex Spiro, said on Tuesday. Representative for Rock Nation did not re re uh, respond to, uh, for requests of comment. Uh, Garcia, which is I think the guy here at the back there, I'm assuming with the camera, began working with Megan Thee Stallion, whose real name is Megan Pete, as a per personal cameraman in 2018 and quit his job in 2019 to pursue a gig with Grammy winner full-time and worked for her until 2023 in June. Garcia said uh, in this lawsuit that he travelled with Megan in Ibiza. Oh, this happened in Ibiza. No wonder, bro. The sun, the cat, the MD, the cocaine, the cocktails, the boats. Those are always primed for some freak shit. No wonder. Um, Garcia said in the lawsuit that he travelled with Megan to Ibiza, Spain in June 2022 and that while in the SUV actually let's see if we find the pictures are there any pictures of oh we do wow okay cool no wonder they were up to some freak shit she was out there on the boat bearing skin hair out titties out bum out niash out oh shit look at that party next door party next oh, sorry party party some fontaine was there so she may have cheated on her boyfriend with this woman in a car, that's nice, isn't it? That's lovely, right? That's super nice to find out years later. <laughs> that's really nice to find out. God damn, man. I'm getting the feeling now, even though Megan might have been a victim of a shooting, I'm getting a feeling Megan Thee Stallion might not be a nice person. I'm getting the feeling that every single time something happens, the one common denominator seems to be Megan Thee Stallion. Maybe she isn't a good person. Which is weird because she might be a victim and she also might not be a decent person because she seems to have fallen out with everybody. All her OG friends, she don't hang out with them anymore. The, 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 the Tory Lanez thing is still a bit mad. People don't really talk about that too much because the whole drama started because she was fucking Tory behind her best friend's back. Which is nuts in itself, right? It doesn't really get spoken about much because obviously, you know, somebody, you know, you getting shot is probably more important than who you fucking hook up with. But Megan Thee Stallion is a real city girl, isn't it? Like, legitimate city girl. To the point where she's trying to put on shows for a cameraman and shit who might be gay. It's like, he's not interested. He, he just wants to take pictures and hang out and shit and look cute. He doesn't want to watch you, you know, going 
pussy for pussy with some girl in the back seat. <laughs> it's like, it's the wrong audience, you know? It's the wrong audience, unfortunately. Let's continue here. Following the day, the rapper asked Garcia whether he was in the car with them that night before. So she didn't even remember who was in the car. She was that fucked. God damn. And when he confirmed he was him, Megan told him, don't ever discuss what you saw. This almost sounds diddy-ish, I'm not going to lie. Are there recordings of this also? Because this almost this is giving diddy. Garcia said in his suit that during the same trip, Megan hurled fat-shaming insults at him. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I'd handle if a girl fat-shamed me. I think it's one thing when your guy friends fat-shame you as a dude. But if a girl was to fat-shame me, I don't know how I'd handle that. I might not ever recover. I might not ever recover if a girl tried to fat-shame me. That's something that, you know, might throw me off course forever and ever. Um, hurling fat shaming insults at him, calling him a fat bitch and telling him to spit your food out. You don't need to be eating. Yo, Megan sounding like Lizzo out here, bro. She runs a tight ship. She wants people to spit out food, record her hooking up. God damn it. She runs a tight ship. To hear someone who advocates about loving your body tell me these things, Garcia said in the interview, I felt degraded. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Friends say mean stuff to each other. The other stuff is mad, but, you know, the fat shaming, including that in a lawsuit, is a little bit... Uh. When they returned to the trip, Garcia said in the lawsuit his compensation structure was changed from a monthly flat rate to a pay by task system that required him to submit him for it. So she had him on salary. Then, when he proved he couldn't be a fun guy, she changed it. This is the thing that's really disturbing because this kind of shows you the dangers of working in such industry. Sometimes, the more open you are to doing freak shit, the better your career will advance, right? But then you're also opening yourself up to abuse and harassment and exploitation. That's the issue. If you come in there and just try and work and be professional and just do your shit and head out and go home and sleep before 10 p.m., it might actually harm your career prospects. If you're more involved and you want to get up to the fuck shit, right, and you want to party, party, party with a capital P, it might actually help you. But then you also might run into some problems. Um... He said he was expected to provide the same services despite the patients to change, but alleges that he was treated differently following the Ibiza trip and saw a decrease in bookings Megan hired him to do. Garcia began to consider quitting the job because of Megan's possessiveness combined with a lack of appropriate pay for the amount of time he asked of him and lack of bookings, the suit said. Garcia remained on the schedule for a June 2023 job, but the night before Rock Nation notified him his services would no longer be required by Megan, according to a lawsuit. While working for Megan, Garcia enjoyed a barrage of relentless sexual and fat-shaming comments, plunging him into a profound emotional distress. When I learned throughout the years is that, especially coming from a form, a, from an office environment, is you know, there's no HR department in the entertainment business, Garcia told NBC News in an interview. So if you don't know what you're being, what you're being done wrong, you don't really know how to advocate for yourself until you start asking, maybe you start asking your peers, you have representation, they have agents, they have managers, they have attorneys. So I just really just want to encourage people to advocate for themselves. The alleged behavior caused Garcia to face a loss of earnings in, and other unemployment benefits, as well as physical injuries, physical sickness and emotional distress, according to a lawsuit. The suit states that while working for the entertainer, he was without basic insurance coverage and therefore could not get a care he needed. Now he grapples with mounting anxiety, depression, physical distress stemming from a toxic work environment. Oof, Megan's going to have to settle out of court for this one, isn't it? She's going to have to settle out of court for this one. Megan just needs to pay our client what he's due. Own up to her behavior and quit this sort of sexual harassment and fat shaming, said Ron Zambrano, the attorney of Garcia, said in a statement to NBC News. Emilia should never have been put in a position of having to be the vehicle with her while she had sex with another woman. Inappropriate is putting it lightly. Exposing this behavior to employees is definitely illegal. Can you imagine if that was a guy did that to a woman? How the timeline would blow up. But because it's an attractive woman doing it to a guy, everyone is just like laughing and kind of mocking the guy and telling him that he should have joined in and shit. It's like, what? Can you imagine if this was like, can you imagine if it was the other way around? 
how this would have looked. God damn it, bro. Garcia also outlines alleged employment and wage violations that sent on classification as an independent contractor. The lawsuit alleges that Megan prohibited him from working for anyone else and was denied overtime payment. See, that's that's a scummy shit. I understand if you don't trust the guy anymore because he seemed a bit uncomfortable when you're hooking up with a girl and you stop giving him bookings. Okay, it's a bit fucked up, but okay. But then denying him the opportunity to go and work in other places or for other people is really, really scummy. You know, really, really scummy. Um, his misclassification as independent left him without basic insurance coverage and depriving him of central health care. Garcia told NBC News in an interview that he is seeking more than six figures. The suit seeks unpaid wages as well as interest on unpaid wages, unpaid overtime wages and other employee benefits at a legal rate. He's also seeking statutory penalties and wage penalties um, pursuant to California labor laws, punitive damage according to the proof and costs he incurred, including attorney's fees. I wonder if this will have anything, anything to do with the Tory Lanez case. I wonder if she admits the fault in this, if the Tory Lanez lawyers would be like, you see, this girl's a fucking liability. She's a mess. Because she seems to be, you know, a little bit of a mess, a little bit chaotic. Maybe they might use this to their advantage or something. But either way, um, she seems to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? This lady seems to be a bit of a problem. She seems to be a bit of a problem. And it's just wild to see the timeline not really give a fuck that a guy had been you know subjected to this when if the tables were turned people would have definitely been rioting on the streets but i guess it is what it is i guess it is what it is